Well, as we mentioned yesterday, April is STD Awareness Month. Uh, we spoke to a doctor who's an expert on the treatment and prevention of sexually transmitted diseases. And we recently found out about a comedian who's trying to do his part to raise awareness of STD and make the subject just a little bit less depressing. We actually have a tape from his set last night from the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. Frankie, if you'd roll that for us, please. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. The Laugh Factory is proud to present a comedian who's so powerful, yet so gentle and easy to apply, he should come with a little tiny comb. Here's hoping the laugh spread as fast as his rash. Here he is, the STD Comedian. Hi, everybody. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much. You're looking good. Thank you. Well, I just flew in from Pam Anderson's hoo-ha, and boy, is it puffy and scabbed over. <laughs> But seriously, take my chlamydia for peas. <laughs> hey, uh, why did the public lice cross the road? To get to the swamp patch on the other side. <laughs> hey, uh, but seriously, did you hear about that new Nicolas Cage movie? It's called Gonorrhea in 60 Seconds. <laughs> Hey, hey, is that a blister on your labia, or are you just glad to see me? <laughs> Whoa, hey, <laughs> hey, how do you know when you're staying in a bad hotel? Uh, the sheets have a 500 crab count. Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey, that reminds me. What's the best part of having a doctor stick a cotton swab in your urethra to check for STDs? Oh, there isn't one. Are you kidding me? It hurts like hell. <laughs> Hey, by the way, it's a real pleasure performing for you tonight. All of you are a very nice crowd. I hope you applaud. But please, don't give me the clap. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, the guy in the restaurant says, Hey, waiter, there's crabs in my soup. The waiter says, Well, that's because your waitress is wearing a miniskirt. <laughs> hey, what do, you, what do you call rectal pain, especially during a bowel movement accompanied by painful urination and a rash on your scrotum and scars on your dong? <laughs> Gonorrhea. <laughs> hey, what did one condom say to the other condom? Uh, he says, hey, uh, I hear you're 99% effective in preventing STDs and pregnancies, especially when you're covered with a lubricating sperm spermicide. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Hey, how many? <laughs> hey, how many of you out there have warts on your bungholes? Can I get a show of hands? Show of hands, anybody? Mm. Oh, good for you. <laughs> hey, a guy uh, goes to the doctor, and the doctor says, "Hey, I got some good news and the best some bad news. The good news is there's uh, the cold sore on your lip. The bad news is that means you've got herpes, which you can never get rid of. You'll have the rest of your life, and you can only bang other people with herpes." <laughs> <laughs> hey, so so this guy's urinating, right? And it's like there's fire shooting out of his urethra. So he says to his buddy, <laughs> says to his buddy, hey, that's the that's the last time I go bareback in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so uh, why does syphilis wear perfume and makeup? Uh, because it results in pus-filled boils that exude a uh, musky discharge. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been a contagious audience, but I'm out of time. Got to get some herpes medicine. Uh, going to the pharmacy right now. Be sure to tip your urologist. Hepatitis C. Yeah, later. <laughs> <laughs> the STD comedian, nice, from the set last night at the Laugh Factory. Trying to brighten an otherwise dark subject. Absolutely.